There you go. Uh, tell you what, he's uh, had a great start of the year, has Jamal Fogarty, mm. and he just sunk. And the run from Ethan Strange, Brian. What a beauty. Beauty. Jeez, he's a confident kid. Goodness me. Yeah. He's, um, yeah, that, that won him the game, didn't it? Bloody oath it did. We don't want to get bogged down on the on the Golden Point chat, but can I just say what I think ruins it, Brian? Oh, here we go. I love it. Is Let's the go. two kickoffs. Okay. So you start a game and you kick off. Yep. They're only five-minute halves. Yep. So the ball starts at the back end of the field, and then you work up. So if you had to plot where the play the balls were in the whole of Golden Point, mm-hmm. because of the two kickoffs, it would over-index more so than the regular flow of play to set the back end of the field. Okay. You've only got five, five minutes. minutes. Okay, what do you want to do? Well, a, a couple of options potentially would be just have 10 minutes straight. Yep. Um, the problem with that is that if there's a howling wind, one team gets an advantage with that. Mm. So you've got to sort of think about that. The other thing would be, okay, if you do want to, everyone says do golden try, but in reality, the way we have it with the two kickoffs, we don't have enough chances up there to score the golden try. There'd be more draws than, than not if it was golden try. So therefore, if you wanted to save time and you wanted to keep the five minutes each way, maybe tap off from the halfway line. Right. Um, so straight away, you're putting teams in better. So mate, you might go, okay, well, the home teams had the big advantage by having the home crowd, obviously. Yep. So... In the event of extra time, you tap off from the halfway line and the away team gets first crack at it. Gotcha. If you did golden try. What about, uh, now I'm using a, a touch terminology, yep. what about first try score? So we don't even actually get to golden point. So your first try is worth extra points. Yeah. Isn't that working touch? Um, so you don't have draws? Isn't your first... Yeah, I don't, I, want to start, I, I don't, I don't want to start, like that. I don't want to simplify. <laughs> I want to simplify my life. I'm yeah, just yeah. trying to get you a but little it, bit agitated. Yeah, I know, but... It, Every time we do Golden Point, every time there's a game, this mm. this is a talkback topic. Exactly. And then people talk about the points. Mm. It's like uh, kissing your sister. Yeah. Which isn't too bad, I suppose. No, that's, but I, I, I what actually... If you were... I don't enjoy it. Paul Robbie. Yeah. Okay, if you were Margot No, Robbie, it wouldn't be. No. Like, no. Is it still weird? Yeah, kissing Margot Robbie? Yes, yes, yes it's it is. very yes. weird. You reckon? Yes, yes absolutely. Yes. But you, very weird. He doesn't differentiate the fact that it's I Margot know, Robbie and, it, and he's I'm brother I'm just saying, Paul. if you're kissing your sister and your sister's Margot Robbie... Couldn't be that bad. No. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But what what do you think? Like, everyone... We'll drop we, off? Drop off? Well, drop off would help, but you can't be... You, you just have to start with 12. Yeah. Hmm. I don't love the field goal shootout. I must say that. Well, I don't like... I've got your... Um, as you just mentioned there, we can't even get a field goal. How are we going to get a try? With golden try? Yeah. But that's how you're going to get a try. It's, it's the kickoffs on both halves. But no, what I'm saying, it's hard enough just to get a field goal. We still haven't drawn. Yeah. Imagine how hard it'll be trying to get But a... if, you tap, if you tapped off from the halfway line, the away team starting at five minutes, you're having a shot. Yes, you can take a goal or, or a field goal, but it doesn't win the game. Right. So the other team gets another chance. Yeah. Like the NFL. Second half, they tap off from the halfway line. and we, we just, We're playing encouraging football at the moment. You spend the first three minutes of... Bloody golden point going set to set. Yeah. At the end of the field. And then ultimately someone's having a Yeah, this is a good one. I don't mind this. Uh eight nine five. He said only the players with the journeyman's ticket can kick for golden point. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, he's talking about the uh, the tradies. The tradies. Anyway, that that's our view. Uh somebody said earlier today, which I thought was a very clever comment, they said all the Raiders games mm. are the curtain raiser to Ricky's press conference, which is great <laughs> entertaining. But let's start with Des first. Des on the refereeing performance. Look, I'll be first a bit. We were a bit ill-disciplined in parts. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, I thought the refereeing performance was pretty poor. A uh, lopsided penalty count, in particular in the area of uh, uh, 10 or 6 against a 1. Yeah, some of them, uh, you know, it just leads to uh, yeah, just, you're just battling field position the whole time. Mm, possession ends up 60-40. Yep, sure, some of that's our own fault. But it's difficult, um, and I'm pretty proud of the effort, and that's why it's heartbreaking. Okay, so that was Dez. Mm. Dez on the attack, <laughs> and then Ricky <laughs> in response. Dez was fairly critical of the refereeing. Uh, he said that, talked about a lopsided penalty count, 10 1 in, 6 agains, and then reckons that the uh, <laughs> charge down was he's on side. He's on another planet, mate. If he's critical of the 6 agains and the penalties, he's on another planet. I just said he coached well. Him and Whitey coach well, but the way they cheated with the when they were standing there with hand on the ball, holding over the ball, the way they cheated on the ground. If we want to go back to last year or the years we've had, no worries. We'll start wrestling and we'll start cheating up high too. The game's been going real good. 
without that type of um, wrestle and ruck. I, I feel sorry for Casey. The way they were in her face all night, I feel sorry for Casey out there tonight. Remember when you were a kid, Brian, you have a fight with one of your siblings, and then it was a rush to get to mum to give your version of events first? Yep. They bet they're both rushing into Jared Maxwell for an explanation today. Yes. Uh, no, well, I they were holding down. Yeah. But every club wrestles. Yeah. Like Ricky's <laughs> pretending that they don't wrestle. Uh, it's good. It's always entertaining. But they got the, they got the job done. Good debut from National Lampoon. Yes. Chevy. Chevy. No, 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 no. No, I thought he was really good. He was good. Yeah. Uh, the, the stop on. What do you think about the. It's a rule at the moment, but. I reckon most charge down attempts or most successful charge downs, nearly all of them would be offside. Yes. So should should the he was, he was offside, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was. I think that's been confirmed. Should you be able to penalise on that? Should it, should that be able to come from the bunker to say, Casey, he's offside? Absolutely. Because currently you can't. No. 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 If you going to if he went for, but they could probably couldn't they. Uh, Challenge? Well, I, I, I've, Is there a challenge? Well, I remember saying on this program about a year ago, I said, I would challenge every missed field goal. Mm. I reckon you'd almost get a penalty out of it nine times out of ten. Yeah. But I don't think... It's got to be a stop and play. Yeah, I don't think you can challenge it. No. I can't... Like, you can't say, oh, no, we, we're challenging, even if it misses by 100 miles, we're challenging the fact we, we got it. Yeah. Then they look at it. But anyway, um, Dragons 24 defeat the West Tigers 12. Sell out at Campbelltown the first time since the premiership year of 2005. Zach Lomax. Yeah, how good was Mate, he? The, the two or the five on his back is flying and working for him, and he's going to take a haircut to go somewhere else to in play a position center. to play centre. Yeah, he won't be going up for those bombs. Uh, that was unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen anyone catch four in a row like that. Wow. And they were all different types. Yep. There was a couple of up there Kazalis. Yep. There was a couple of little sneaky <laughs> ones. There was, a, there was a the standard rugby league catch, bread basket and all. Yep. He, he just wasn't dropping them. No. Put them no. in the slips, I say. Put him in the slips. Uh, so there you go, uh, Rick, um, not Ricky, Benji, dubbed it their worst performance of the season. They were very sideways, very sideways. Like the two tries they did score, uh, Stefano and Kapoa, did yep. he score? Yeah, Asu Kapoa. It was just hitting a hole and just a short ball. Yep. N- none of this, they kept going to the right and they were sideways. Yep. There was those stupid blocks. Get rid of the blocks. If you're an attacking coach yep. of a rugby league team, the blocks don't work. Yep. They work sort of around the ruck, but out wide, the defence are too smart now. If you're going to do the block, use the the lead runner Keep more the runner. often than not. Quick question, boys. Lockie Galvin, straight back in? Yeah. yeah. Straight yeah. back in? No further questions, no Ryan. Further. Straight straight back nope. in. I hope they sign him up. Straight back in. I'm hearing a certain team is sniffing around. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> just, um, just hearing oh, things. No. Ear to the ground. Jeez, we've read Ear to the ground, Bears head. We've read this book before, haven't we, eh? Hey? We've read it before. <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, Sharky's 34 defeat the Rabbitohs 22. And clearly the story out of all of this is just what was the unders and overs of shots on Jason Demetrio? Oh, the yeah. poor bug of the week. But you know what? 34-22, they got beaten well enough in the end. However, it looks as though he's got a, um, a stay. A stay of execution, I yep. suppose, they yep. say. Um, yeah, they tried really hard, just lacking a, a little bit of... Uh, polish on the end. I thought the fullback, young Joe Gray, was very, very good. Yep. Very good. He rips in. Ripped in, yep. Um, and he's only still, he's only 19 year old. So I don't know what they're going to do. Um, you know, we've been calling it for a while now that the game maybe has gone past uh, Latrell as a fullback. Fullback, yeah. It's changed dramatically. The kid probably showed about how many, because how many yards he was eating up. Yep. Whether or not when Latrell comes back in two weeks, he plays centre. I'm starting to think, and I did. I, I, I would. I said put him in centres, but now I'm starting to think Cody at seven and Latrell at six. Yeah, well, that could work. And leave Jack White on the left left centre. That that could maybe work. Mm. Um, they've got to try something. Uh, they've got uh, the Melbourne Storm out of the bye, so they've got the bye this week, which is the last thing Jason Demetrio. He, he'd want to play a game for sure. But they've got the bye, uh, then they've got Melbourne for the Anzac Day clash. So there's a big ask there. Ronaldo Militalo is absolutely flying at the moment. They have some injury concerns. Tavita Totola a foot injury. Tyrone Munro collarbone, collarbone rather. So they're both set to sit, spend time on the sidelines. Eels with a big win, a really big win for them, which they needed. Mm. Twenty-seven to twenty, the Cowboys. They're just there's something missing for them defensively. Isn't we it? spoke to, we had on the show last night, Tommy Dearden and uh, Drinky, and they were saying 
uh, Hindy asked him a good question. He said, have you changed the way you defend? He says, yeah, we're, we've sort of slightly changed our defensive structure and we're trying to get used to it. But then he said, we're very loose in the middle. Like he, he said, teams are just running through us in yeah. the middle. Yep. Um, so there must be, maybe they're defending like outside in. Like I, I don't know. It, it didn't really make sense because if you, if you go up and out, you're usually more compressed. But yes. he said, during the, maybe they're just not as mobile as they once were during the middle and they're not, they're not doing the wrestling, not winning the ruck. And, and the problem is if you're conceding up the middle, they're all six-point tries. Mm-hmm. So that's the problem there. Mustard was good against his old club. Mustard was really good. Uh, Dijon, he's, he uh, allowed Brown just to run, which was which was good. But I still think they need Blaze in there. He's yeah. got to be in the squad. Yeah. That's, like they, they, Brad Arthur was been talking about for three years. I need an X factor. Yep. You got one. You, you played one game at centre. You won. Then you unfortunately you had to put him in the at six, that's not his position. Nope. He's, I don't know him as a kid, but he looked a little bit sort of quiet and shy. He wasn't really calling it. So, But you've got to have him in the squad somewhere. Put him at fullback. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. First draw of the year, Warriors 22 all. What about the get-out-of-jail-free card for them to get those eight points in the last minute of the match? Um, what do you make of the hit? What do you make it's of it? It's a penalty. It is a penalty. It's a penalty. Yeah. Like, I know it, it doesn't matter whether it was forceful or not. Unfortunately, you can't do it. Yep. The players know it. Yep. Yep. He, he played it well, though, didn't he? Oh, he, he bunged it on. Yeah. <laughs> he bunged it on, but... And what you forget, to too, it. like, it, the importance of it, it's where the ball lands. lands so it was yeah. a gift. It's not where... Is it where it finishes up or where it actually first makes contact with the ground? I think where it makes contact with the ground. Okay. Yeah. Because it was an awful kick. Yeah, it was a shocker. Um, Broncos... 28 defeat the Dolphins 14. Speaking about it, did you see that missed field goal conversion by Jermaine Osaka? Went about 100 yeah. metres. Oh, it was 60. 60, was 60, it? 60, at least oh. 60. Absolutely. Whacked it. Broncos 3 from 3 in the Battle of Brisbane. I've got to say, though, Brian, 28 14, I, when you really drill into it, Reese Walsh got that sort of bobble, takes off scores. Cobbo got a couple of lucky bounces for his two tries. Mm. There's 18 points or thereabouts. Of your twenty-eight against the Dolphins team, it was largely without Hammer. Yep, it's they, they're really missing Payne Haas and Reynolds and Reynolds. They're missing the kicking game of Reynolds. Yep. Payne Haas round eight, round nine. I think so. Uh, but Carrigan, Carrigan was fantastic again. Awesome. Far out, he's a terrific player. Awesome. Uh, the Storm fall in. Oh. 16 14 The doggies. Um, geez, they, they've been pretty good the last few weeks. Haven't they? What beat the Chooks. And almost, almost got the uh, got the cash against the storm. It was a. Uh, um, I, I I think if Jamin Salmon watches that back again, he'll be very disappointed because yep. you know it was a minute ago. What? How long was to go? Not long, three no. or four minutes. And his attempt on Blore, I, I think he'd like to have that over again. Yep. He um, you know when you, when the game's on the line, you got to put your body in front of him. I think that that's what they'd be disappointed most. They did all the hard work. And when you got three minutes to go, and it was a pretty standard tackle, mm. you know, you, you got to make them. The Roosters, who'll take on the Storm. Have you got an early sort of guide there? Do you, are you feeling confident? Like, I'm, I'm finding not, the Roosters I'm, hard to read. Yeah. What do you um, do with Joey? It's, I know I keep saying it. Hybrid. He can't spend the whole match in the centres. Can I say this? Can we put him on the wing? Don't mind can that. Can we put him on the wing? Yep. I think in centre, whether it's a, a psychological thing or something, you got to, you seem to want to stay there. Where I think if you get the, you, you sort of get permission just to roam. Imagine having him and Teddy just through the middle. Can you try them at six again, or has that been I done? I think it's been done. I don't think it worked. Don't think it worked. The only, the only thing with the wing, well, they're they're pretty well handled there. Yeah, Tupu and Swally, you're doing great. Mm. I, I just he needs to be. The, the, he was the reason they won. If he doesn't play, oh, that, of they don't win. And he was in everything. Every, not, Even Brandon Smith's try was on the back of him back doing of him. a big run. He comes off his right foot and yeah. was just making making holes through the middle. But he was the reason why they charged home and nearly beat the dogs. Yep, definitely. So, so the two big questions for, for Robbo, which maybe they're not even questions, maybe in his head it's just clear that Tedesco stays at fullback. For, for me, it's less clear, is, okay, what's the situation with Joey? How do we get him more ball and... Should we play a bit of a hybrid where he plays half and half the game at the back? And I still think you get a lot of out of Tedesco at centres. And what are the halves that wins him the comp? Mm. The thing when if he stays in the centres and he, you give him early ball, it's sort of it's harder for him 
he he prefers playing in the middle, a bit like Dylan Edwards. Yeah. How it's their footwork and you're up against bigger, slower men who aren't as agile. When you say to him, oh, I'll give him early ball, yeah, you might be able to make half a break, but nowhere near as he's going to have as much joy through the no. middle. No, but, but just the, the carries, like you, you watch it and you go, he actually made 16 metres then. Yeah. It, it, he does it so effortlessly. But what he also does, he was doing a lot of, uh, and Trent Robinson mentioned in the press conference, what Edwards does, does the first carry, yeah, and then does that carry before the kick, so everyone else could be set, yeah, and it was helping the team, yeah, it was it was really helping. The I don't team. think they'll move Teddy. No, I, I, well, that's the hard thing. But could I, Teddy play six? Have you got Ted as a six? No, no, I, I would, I would definitely look at that for sure. Ted at six, yeah, mm. yeah, it is a, and then just mate, he wouldn't be good fun market in the line. Ted, Teddy running the ball, no way, that wouldn't be good fun, and oh. Again, the hype. I just think both of them. You can just yeah, give them a, give them a crack. Have each. both of them there. Um, can no, I just I, get to this one, Matt uh, Fletch? I can't get past your Margot Robbie sister comment. <laughs> I feel toey now. Oh yeah. <laughs> he actually says I feel ill. Uh, Sorry, Matt. I was just saying, if your sister looked like Margot Robbie, would it be as bad? Would it be like kissing your sister? Rank, gross. You don't like that? Wrong. Yeah, I'm with you, Turi. What about Giselle Bunchin? Yeah. Even worse. I want to yeah. bunchin. Yes. A bunch of them. <laughs> yes. The run home with Joel and Fletch. Uh, Lee Hatcham and Tellus not too far away. We're going to get a bit of a, a breakdown of as to how the uh, Lerman case has panned out. The run home with Joel and Fletch.